Hey guys, it's wet me, Wet Sock, your average Aussie gamer, and in this episode we are checking out the little game Locomotive. Uh, I have not played this game at all, but it is like a murder mystery sort of game, so let's just get stuck straight into it. I'm digging the graphics. Very simplistic. I love it. Yikes. My apologies, Mr. Ackerman. You s startled me. Because yeah, you're up to no good. You're the, es the estate attorney, yes? I'm breaking and entering. I'm under orders, I'm afraid. This comes direct from... Lady Underworld. Of course. Letter on the side of the table for you, sir. And the suit carrier. Ah, so this guy's left me a suit and a letter. From a... The Lado. Well, I'll leave you to it. I wonder what Lady Underworld has in store for me this time. Okay, so I can look at the letter. My trusty typewriter. It's a mirror. Can I walk around? No. Dear Mr. Ackerman, please report to me in the lounge as your at your earliest convenience. I have further amendments to make before the big announcement tonight. When you're on one of my trains, I'd like everyone to come away with a smile on their face and a new story to tell. And it's impossible for anyone to have a good time while looking so drab. I've made appropriate arrangements. Yours sincerely, Lady Unterwald. Unterwald. Yes, don't startle Maurice if you find him delivering this message. <laughs> He has a heart condition. Have a good time. What on earth does she mean? What does she mean? Alright, so I can't... Oh, I, c I can walk around. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm expected to wear this. Why not? Oof. Snazzy. Damn, oh, that guy looks sharp. Look out, world. Arthur A. Ackerman has some intense lawyering to do. Look out, world, here comes Super Lawyer. <laughs> Adversary proceeding. Adversary proceeding. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't just misplaced your room keys, sir? Misplaced? My good friend, I must remind you of who I am. And who is that, sir? Tis I, Herman Merman, <laughs> the world famous detective. Herman Merman. Perhaps you've read the stories of my cases. Herman Merman and the murmuring German. Herman Merman and the Squirman Chairman. <laughs> Sorry, sir, not a big reader. Not even Herman Merman and the Sermon of Vermin. Good God. <laughs> My point being, I don't misplace things. I solve them. That's excellent news, sir. I'm sure you'll have no problem with the case of the missing keys. Well. Um... Yes, you're quite right. Quite right. Now that he mentions it, I did see that drunkard stumbling the halls earlier this evening. So sorry, I don't do autographs. Um, I'm super lawyer, thank you very much. Wait a minute, I know you, of course you do. You're that estate lawyer for Lady Unterwald. Ackerman, is it? That's right.
I hear you're a bit of a dick. <laughs> You've lost the keys to your room. Lost them? No. There's definitely foul play at work at here. I smell a rat, and I'm going to sniff them out. If my name isn't Herman Merman. Is <laughs> Of course it is. Let's just say we both mutual benefactors of Lady Unterwalds. Eccentricity. Go on. She uses my private detective services to keep tabs on her extended family. And she uses your estate management services to write them out of any undeserved inheritance. Oh dear. She did write out her cousin for chewing too loudly at one time. Oh yes, she's as mad as a box of frogs. But if you want to inherit wealth, power, and influence, you play by her rules. I hear a bit of a dick. I could say I'm the biggest dick in continental Europe. <laughs> they don't come any bigger than <laughs> gumshoe. I've got to go. Lady Unterwald is waiting for me. Best be off then. There's not one for waiting. This must be her. Hi. Hello. Arthur Ackerman, at your service. The name's Suzanne Goldschmidt. How can I help you, Arthur? <laughs> I'm looking for a good time. Ugh, I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I've been instructed to enjoy myself. I can tell you don't need me for that. If this, uh, <laughs> are you all right? Okay, let's just, let's just find the dear lady. Don't want to, we don't want to speak to everybody. This must be her deaf woman. Ah, Arthur, there you are. Are you ready to help me with this, these amendments? I am ready and willing. Is that another one of your lawyer jokes? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, will. Uh, capital will. Thank you for coming, Arthur. I trust you're enjoying yourself. As ordered, Lady Underwald. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. That was a good one. But when you get to my age, you realize there's more to life than paperwork and... Legalize? Legalities? Yes, ma'am. Speaking of which, there's the amended will. I need you to keep it safe for me. I'll keep it in the briefcase, ma'am. I expect the speech tonight will... Ruffle some feathers. What's uh, what's the um? All those fools out there. Do you really think any of them are cut out to take over the reins? Bickering psychophants with far too much self-importance. They're just waiting for me to kick the bucket. Yeah, sounds like it. It makes my blood boil thinking about it. Open the window, will you, Arthur? I need some fresh air. <laughs> ah, that's much better. It's funny, you might just be the most useful person here, Arthur. I can always rely on you. Now, it's time to gather the family. This old lady's got a speech to make. Ah... Uh, yeah, oh no. 
That is definitely not good. The will is caught on the window. I might still have time to grab it. Alright, let us begin. Thank you all for coming. You know me as the aging Iris of the Wald Barn Empire. Who? <laughs> there comes a day for everyone when you know your time is up. It's my desire to leave my legacy in good hands. And for that reason... It looks like we're approaching a tunnel. Ahem. And for that reason, it's my desire that my estate be passed over and its entirety too. <laughs> Lady Unterwald, no. Wait. It could just be a flesh wound. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a murder most foul. A murder so wicked and dastardly. <laughs> Still spurting. That it can only be solved by an extraordinary detective. Such as I. Herman Merman. Herbert Minkfam. Lady Unterwald has written someone out of her inheritance mere moments before her demise. We can prove motive with one key piece of evidence. Mr. Ackerman. Y yes You were safekeeping her will and testament. Apart from myself, you hold the key to who killed Lady Unterwald. Please hand it over to me now. Uh, I must have left it with my other pants. Nevertheless, I shall continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been watching tonight's proceedings with a keen eye. And I shall reveal how I know the killer is in this very room. Mark my words, this malicious alfactor, conniving wretched wrongdoer, will have nowhere to hide. Oh no, we're approaching another tunnel. Not Herman Merman! Forgive me for the theatrics. The killer is... Back. Well then, what now? Habeas Corpus. <laughs> Herman Merman said that there was only one person who could reveal the killer. I need to find out who killed both Lady, him and Lady Unterwald. And get that will back. Could, or I could be the next to go. I need to check their quarters to see if there's any clues. How do I get in? Ah, it's right there. I need something to grab it with. Blast. Okay, so we gotta search for clues. Oh, did you see something? Mwah. Pick up. Oops. <laughs> Out with it, man. What do you know? Not hick hack. Harrison. It's hack. Laser night. I'm too sober for this con conversation. Might need to get on his level. Ah, so I'll need to get drunk in order to be able to speak with him. Smartly dressed man. Hello, I'm Arthur Ackerman. I'm Lady Underworld's personal doctor. Or at least I was. A hearse? Oh no. Dr. Hearse. That's all they're going to call me from now on. 
The doctor of death who failed to save Lady Unterwald. Despite standing right next to her, there's nothing I could have done. Was Lady Unterwald in good health? Oh yes. She was exceedingly spry for her age. She liked to keep me on hand in case of emergencies. But I didn't sign up for this. Who do you think the murderer is? I was hoping you could tell us. I'm working on it. Well, be quick about it, Mr. Ackerman. Plenty of dark tunnels on the route ahead. And we're all locked in with a killer. Who would want to kill Lady Underworld? Lady Underworld cut a lot of people out of her will, you know. When there's wealth, power and influence to play for. People tend to go a bit loco. Goodbye. Okay, well... Oh. Hello, good evening, sir. Do you know what he's been drinking over there? I believe it is an almost lethal combination of ethanol and assorted plant fiber. <laughs> With a dose of caffeine. Mixed to perfection, of course. He calls it the rosebud. <laughs> Can I get a rosebud? Wah. <laughs> I have to ask the, at the bar, sir. Okay, so we gotta go to the bar. Bye. Um, let's... Let's, let's talk to the drunkard first. What'll it be? A rosebud, please. Sorry, sir. We don't have the petal leaf to make it. Just a mess and drunk our entire supply. I'm afraid we're all out. What if I get you the ingredients? Can you make it then? Well, of course. But I'll whip up something similar. Okay. Okay, so I've got to be looking for clues. I don't even know who to suspect to begin with. It's locked. That is Herman Merman's room. I can't go in. Nothing but sleeper carriages down there. And besides, it's a killer on the loose. So I'll go into my quarters. Uh, wouldn't I be able to take the, the leaf petal, uh, the petals from these flowers? Metal coat hanger. Never know when you're going to need a metal hanger. Could I use it as like a... No. I was thinking maybe possibly like a lockpick, but... It doesn't seem to be the case, so. Hmm. Okay. So we will need to speak with everybody, but we'll go back in here. Where is the... There it is. Oh. Do I have a... Do I have an inventory? Sorry, sir. Lady Underworld's quarters are strictly off limits. But Hammer, her attorney, no exceptions. There might be key evidence in her quarters. Can't do that, sir. Pretty, please let me in. Sorry, sir. No can do. Pretty, pretty, please. With the cherry on top. Um, alright, go ahead. Really? Nope. <laughs> I thought I was going to get there. Nobody's getting past me as long as I'm standing here. I'm leaving now. I don't care why we haven't stopped. Stop the train. I need to find a way to convince him. Hello, I'm Arthur Ackerman. What? 
I'm an attorney at law. You're a terrible bore. Ackerman, Arthur Ackerman. Martha Slackerman. You don't look like a Martha to me. I'm leaving now. Alright, so the old lady's a little bit suspicious. There it is. I can still grab it. Damn. Let's move towards the sleeper carriages. Twin two. Hi there. Hello. Hello. He was talking to me. Why would he talk to you? He was clearly talking to me. Well, I guess he, I was talking to both of you. Both of us. At once? How odd. Indeed. What a peculiar thing to say. <laughs> Very strange. You two are odd. The daughter? The name's Deanna Ostenhagen. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You're the lawyer guy, right? That's me. Honestly, I knew this family was mad. I didn't expect them to go this far, though. Someone on this train must have had a real axe to grind. Do you think you know who did it? I bet my money on those creepy twins, personally. Go on. Their constant one-upmanship with each other gets tiring. I saw them argue over a designer bag they found once. They argued back and forth for hours, tugging at it. That poor bag didn't stand a chance. Interesting. Posh guy. Hello there. Arthur Ma Ackerman. The name's Bergman. Did you know? Lady Unterwald often talked a storm up about you. Really? What did she say? She said your worth... Worth... Ethic was... Quite the compliment coming from her, of course. Although she had her funny turns. In her good books, one moment. But then she'd turn on you just like that. Ah, Arthur. Can you believe it? What a messy state of affairs we find ourselves in. My feelings exactly. Who do you think the murderer is? I wouldn't like to take any guesses at this point. I'm ideally hoping to stay out of proceedings, if at all possible. Nothing worse than making a target of yourself in a room with a trapped killer. Who would want... Well, Arthur, when, you're, when you generate as much wealth, power and influence as she did, you naturally create a few enemies along the way. I can't believe they killed Herman Merman. Rather full of him to paint that target on your back, I thought. Surely the killer among us will be trying to tie up any loose ends. And if you're looking like a particularly loose end, if you don't mind me saying, oh, he's saying that I'm looking like a loose end. Eating guy. Another round of city juice, old chap. Oh, I don't work here. Then why are you wearing blue? Well, an old lady told me to get dressed into an... Alright, I don't think I want to know. Besides, you're killing my vibe with that sweet... Sweet tui over there, you dig? Oh! Ugh. Actually, you could be useful. Take this note and give it to the lady behind me, will ya? And don't forget to give her my room key too. Happy to help. Ah, give the room key. To Slee's Balls Quarters. There's the will. Might be able to reach it. Just quickly take a look around. Leftover food, what a slob. Worn shorts, hastily removed. Unmentionables. <laughs> Unmentionables. Ah, uh, the latch is jammed. Looks like I could force something with thinner wire into the gap, though. Might just wedge it open. 
I've got cinnamon wiry. I've got a coat hanger. Did I not grab it? I did. So do I have like a... I don't think I've got an inventory system. No. It, it, you do just click. It's locked. Okay, so that's clearly not it. Okay, so let's talk to this lady. Hi. How can I help you, Arthur? What do people do to have fun around here? Here? Nothing out of the ordinary. We partake in the pleasures of life. Well, do you have any advice? My advice? Make new friends. Break a few rules. Create new memories. Eat. Drink. Smoke. Far. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Tell me, Arthur, have you always been such a square? I take no issue with the square. Straight angles? All sides equal? Perfectly reliable for a shape. Reliable isn't interesting, Arthur. I prefer to talk with people a little more. Rounded. I'm interesting. I'm rounded. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a case to solve. Right, so, I would have, sorry sir, why haven't we stopped the train? Wards are to keep going till the police can board at the next destination. We've contained the area, the killer has nowhere to go from here. But we're in the area. I'm leaving now, but I'll be back. I would have thought that the coat hanger, because it said something thin and wiry, that, that, that would be a coat hanger, surely. And I have spoken to just about everybody here. I mean, I've got some conversations that I could finish, but... So I can use the inventory. I did the job, but I snapped my hanger in the process. I need something with a longer reach. Uh, really? A strongly perfect letter from Lady... reach. What would have more reach? Alright, so I've got to finish off talking to everybody. Did I... Okay, so I've finished speaking with you. I'm mad that a lot of them. I didn't expect them to go this far, though. Someone in this train must have had a real axe to grind. Yes, yes. Can't believe Lady Underworld's gone. Sorry, Arthur. I know you two were close in some ways. I guess you're out of the cushy job now too. Oh dear. Didn't even think of that. Or Herman Merman. Parading around like that. He was practically asking for it. <laughs> of course he was. Especially as he'd like likely spied on half the people on board this train.
Uh, hot glass fret. I hope the suit is to rental. What'll it be? Strong coffee, please. Did I put them? Yeah, a glass of red wine. What'll it be? Never mind. Okay. So, nobody has asked for a drink as yet. Are you doing this on purpose? Who's to say? <laughs> oh. Waiter. Ah. Can't believe they killed Herman Merman. Herman's, Herman must have got too close. Not to mention he was doing Lady Underworld's dirty work. All that spying. Scandalous. Lady Underworld cut a lot of people out of her will, you know. When there's wealth, power, influence, play for. We'll tend to get a bit of loco. We know. I was hoping you could tell us. I'm working on it. Be quick about it, Mr. Ackerman. Plenty of dark tunnels are on the route ahead. And we're all locked in with a killer. That's all they going to call me from now on, isn't it? Dr. Hearse. No, Doctor of Death. Blah, 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 blah. He wouldn't like that. I don't want to make him any more inebriated. The train guard? Could I offer him a coffee? He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that. Looks like you have a secret admirer. Wow. This is... Um... Explicit, I know. And the perfume. It's so... Awful. Alluring. Wait for me in room 4C. Watch this post for me while I'm gone. Of course. And don't go in there, Mr. Ackerman. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> With the guard gone, I can see if there's any evidence of Lady Underworld's quarters. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Loose petals. Brilliant. Lady Underworld's hat. Half empty briefcase. A monstera plant. Lady, Lady Underworld's walking cane. This could come in handy. Don't mind Lady Underworld. She'll probably be fine with it. Late. Lady Underworld. Ah, that's, that's her body. Wonderful. Multiple retirement gifts from Lady Underworld. Retirement gift from for Lady Underworld. Okay, so now I've got something long. I doubt this is going to be useful. But now I can get inebriated. Rose balloon. Ah, okay, so... What these petals do? Hmm. I can work with that. I can't legally give you the real deal if you're anywhere under 200 pounds. Your liver would give in. So what can you give me? I can make you a rosebud light. There's all of the flavor of the rosebud, but you'll still be able to, you know, form sentences. 
Precisely. It's delicious. I might be able to make it stronger with some experimentation. It's something to mix it all up in. Ah, something to mix it up in. Something to mix it up in. <laughs> okay, give me that. I need some way to hook onto it. There we go. Loosely attach the wire to the stick to create a hook. But something else to secure it in place. Uh, it's gonna need like tape or glue or something. Damn it! I don't think I've got anything left in here. Alright. No. Can I combine that with that? Can't use those together. What do you mean you can't use those together? Can't use those together. Right. Ah, the music's finished. That means I've taken way too long. Hi. Be the kid, you're killing my vibe. Right. Oh, recorker. I don't mind if I borrow this. Metal corking device. Can't use those together. Goodbye. Don't want to make him any more inebriated. Yeah, of course. He won't like that. Okay, so there's nothing. There's nothing else in here that's of any use to me. So where where are we going? Where? Good evening, sir. Goodbye. Let be. Never mind. I wonder if I could use the, the corker on that door. Use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. Lipstick stained mirror. It doesn't look like there's anything else useful in here. What am I missing? What am I missing? That's just the sleeper cars. It's killer on the loose. Now to the dining car. I wonder if I could give... You wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. No. 
none of them would like that. Okay. What about... No, I don't want to speak to them. Goodbye. Um, could I give them... Letter... Um, oh, what if I give him back his room key? Um, what am I missing? So I need a bottle, don't I? There's no bottles there. I'm not seeing any bottles. Will it be a rosebud? Never mind. Missing something. Something super obvious. You know what? I'm going to keep running around to see if I can figure it out so you don't have to put up with it as well. probably make an amazing goblet all right so I've now figured out what it was I had to steal the hearing aid for the old lady so mix ah okay so that okay so now it's corked one is now sealed Perfect. That's a start, but I need more ingredients. Red wine. There we go. I think I need one more ingredient. And caffeinated. That's it. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Ten minutes later. And that's Shui. Your best friend. <laughs> yes, Arthur. You're very pleased that you're finally having a good time. But I can't understand a word you're saying. None of us can. <laughs> uh oh. I must be drunk. Okay, I know what to do now that I am very heavily intoxicated, and that is go speak with my good old friend. Good friend. Where are I? Mwah. My good man. Are you enjoying my signature? Signature drink. You finally showbed up. <laughs> of course not. We're just the shame amount of drunk. Oh. I guess that makes shents. <laughs> Short of. Herman Memon said he saw you earlier in the evening. 
not long before he lost his quiche. Uh, oh, most definitely. I was well aware of that defective detective crashing and bashing about in his quarters last night. Tell me about the crashing and bashing you heard. Oh, it was awful. Drove me to drink and despair. It did? Well, I was already drinking. Well, I got my revenge though. Dropped these in the hallway. Took them when he wasn't looking. Herman's room keys. Here, take them, lad. Now make sure you crack the case. Might want to show her up first, though. Fully corked horn. Alright, well, let's... I don't think I've sobered up yet. Too drunk to open the door. I should sober up. To my quarters? How would one sober up? Like, coffee? Do I go back to the bar and get a coffee? Perfect. Okay, fantastic. So now I'm sobering up. We're, we're getting sober. <sighs> Ouch, my head is killing me. I hope I didn't embarrass myself. Excellent. Now let's go into Herman Merman, the world famous detective's room. This one. Oh, wow, the place has been trashed. Someone must have been looking for something. Rece recently smashed mirror. Knocked over lamp. Punched pillow. And the Sermon of Furman. Torn window blind. Doesn't look like there's... Anything in here? Herman Merman and the Murmuring German a discarded cushion. I haven't got anything here. Torn window blind. Nope, can't use that on. Anything that's... I guess now that it's trashed, i got to find out who he was having a kerfuffle with. Over there. Uh, nothing. So there was a big kerfuffle. Goodbye. Why are you so eager to ruin an old lady's fun? Is this about the horn? What? I'm going to leave now. What am I missing? Can't 
can I combine that with that? Those can't be used together. Have you sobered up yet? Perhaps. I'm still not on his level. Never mind. Okay, so there's no no more speaking with him. What am I missing? He doesn't put it down for a second. A sort of drinks. He's just cleaning. He puts his monocle back up. Ah, our guy has left. Where is he gone? Where is the sleaze ball gone? Did he go? Sleaze ball is missing. But where did he go? Did this gentleman go? that will back that's but I can't combine anything you a better way to secure the hook to the is there like tape So, maybe a way to secure this hook. But how? Probably get that wheel back, thanks.
bar stools, sort of drinks. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. What about you? Do you have anything else new to say? Am I supposed to maybe rip some of the curtain down or something? Briefcase. Ah, oh, locked briefcase. Snug fit, maybe I can find someone or something to break it open. That took me forever to find. It's a great idea, but it's a combination lock. I need to break it open somehow. Break it open somehow? Use those together. Can't use those together. Uh, what could I use the briefcase on to force it open? Keys. It's a great idea, but it's a combination lock. I need to break it open somehow. Can't use those together. Can't use those together. Can't use those together. I think this woman gives us tips. Ask around, I'm sure someone could help you with your case. Ah, okay. He wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. So, do either of you, any, do you, anyone who could open this briefcase? I'll give it a shot. Oh, <laughs> because the twins fought, fought over the handbag. Oh, he clearly asked me, I'm the best person for the job. Second best person for the job. But. Mine, mine, mine. Those two. I think the work here is done. Ooh. Detective strength duct tape. Perfect. No, no. What we've got to do is combine that with that. This should hold up in place. Yes! Okay, perfect. Perfect. We got them. We got it. We got it. We can now proceed into here. And then... Yes. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> 
That's right. Anything's possible. Herman Merman? But we all saw you die. Did you? Or did you watch a master at work? I have the will, Herman. It's... It'll reveal the murderer. Indeed. That's what I'm afraid of. That's not true. That's impossible. It's true. Ambushed. In my own room. Quiet you. I'll find an even smaller space to duct tape you in. Eep. As for you, Arthur, shall we take this outside? Gulp. been a thorn in my side since the moment we met. It would be a pleasure to kill you. No witnesses after all. Wait. I have questions. Questions? What questions? I spent years spying on her family, reporting any and all indiscretions. If anyone so much as stepped out of line, she'd know about it. Also, she could keep her wrinkled hands clean. We had a deal. It was you that she wrote out of her will. Oh yes. Lady Underworld decided she was done with me. Felt remorse for all the underhanded spying, she said. Written out, just like that. I merely returned the favour. Why they need to fake your death? Lady Unterwald was already dead. I was ready to switch the original with a copy. Trusting that Lady Unterwald's paranoia would ensure nobody had seen the original. Losing the will made things complicated. I simply wasn't prepared for your incompetence. Nobody suspects a dead man. It bought me some more time. You trashed your room? To throw off the scent. No, no. That was just me losing my temper. Gulp. Anyway, time's up. Goodbye, Mr. Ackman. Wait. What on earth are you doing? I have the power of attorney. <laughs> I wonder what Arthur boy is up to. Hope you took my advice about making new friends. Aye. <laughs> what? Hello? Is anyone there? I have your note, my love. That's nice. But I'm very badly wounded. <laughs> love how I just take off my belt. I have the power to an attorney. You spineless invertebrate. <laughs> that is not good. Well, I mean, it's actually fantastic for me. Looks like Herman came up short. <laughs> oh, the pun. The puns. I'm sorry, sir. We found Herman's body. Well, half of it. But we couldn't recover the will. It's okay, Maurice. I have it right here. Oh. 
before I read the will, I want to say that I've really learnt something here. What's that, Arthur? Uh, never mix your own drinks. What? <laughs> Get on with it. Ah, the will reading. It reads as follows. I, Lady Unterwald, being of sound mind and legal capacity, leave my entire estate to Arthur Ackerman. You poisonous goat. You turned her against us. Oh look, another tunnel. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was a really fun game. A game made in two weeks. If this was made in two weeks, it was f phenomenally done. These guys did an absolute brilliant job with this yeah made in two weeks for game jam that i mean that's just fantastic the storyline was engaging um puzzles challenging but you could end up figuring them out like they weren't like just ridiculously tedious they were tedious but tedious enough that you would eventually get them so yeah uh guys that's gonna do it for this episode hope you really enjoyed this one i will put a link in the description below if you want to check it out I strongly urge that you do because it is fantastic. These guys did a really good job on it. So, uh, yeah, check that one out and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.